today on Rachel Ray. wedding dresses because on the new show Brides Gone Styled our pal Greta and celeb stylist Robert Verde they work together to take brides from wild to styled <laughs> today for the first time they're actually going to go head to head here in our studio to see which one of them hopefully one of them can uh -huh. pick out the perfect wedding dress for one of our pickiest viewers I think she's tried like 25 dresses and counting <laughs> but first let's check out a clip from their new show Brides Gone Styled Mariah Hi, I'm Greta. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And this is Robert. Robert, good to see you. This is my grandmother, Joanne. This is my mother, Kim. This is my baby, Lulu. Oh, Hi, Lulu. Lulu. Hi. Do you like mom style? Mm-hmm. She's like a life-size moving Barbie doll. Yes, that's, that's always been my goal in life. <laughs> <laughs> Mariah's baseline for beauty is over the top. She is way too much, even though she wears way too little. challenge please welcome back to our show um she's our makeover maven she's already helped us with 40 brides over the course of our show greta money <laughs> She's stylist and TV host who's helped the stars like Eva Longario and Cynthia Rowley get ready to walk down the aisle please welcome Robert Verdi The clip looked terrific, it does. but who wants to set up the show? It looks so exciting. Well, we take girls who have really outrageous <laughs> ideas about how they want to look on their wedding day, so they come to us wanting to be a mermaid. No. And we take them 180 degrees <laughs> in the other direction. No. They want to be <laughs> Ariel? They on the do, wedding day? actually. Yeah. Definitely. There are some. Okay. And basically, we try to help the girls not to make the biggest mistake of their lives on their wedding day. People try and do something different for their wedding, and in the yeah. end, the husband is there at the end of the aisle, and he's like, who's this chick? Yeah. I know, right? Yeah. I don't know so who that yeah. is, right? That's and the so mothers true. are always crying. Yes. That's always. right. Yeah. Yes. They cry. Actually, oh, yeah. the mothers call us most. <laughs> That's right, right? They do. They do. Yeah, I would imagine that the, the candidates for this show are actually outed by their family. They are. Friends. And it's interesting, because they'll come does, the mother will be like, she wants to wear a black dress on her wedding day. <laughs> I don't know what to do. But have you ever had a really pushy mom? Oh, um, not crazy. This but there's hair. definitely, there's, 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 there's drama there. There's drama. Either yeah. moms sit back, and we always say they're really quiet and careful because they don't want to get their daughters yeah, mad. Yeah, yeah. Or they like, I think, and we're like, yeah. no, no, no. <gasps> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got to be down to the guys, yes. right? Yeah. Yeah. So, do do you guys have some happy endings coming oh, in the show? Oh. I mean, wait, you wait, guys wait. win, right? Yeah. Double entendre. <laughs> you guys win. Yes. Yes. No, seriously, yes. it's no, tough no, no. To, it's... To, to kind of bully a woman into wearing a different kind of dress than she's envisioned for her own wedding. Yeah, yeah but yeah, I think no, that no. the thing that Greta and I are able to do is get them to believe that there's another idea that's more fabulous than the idea they have. Gotcha. I think a lot of girls own an idea about how they want to look on their wedding day from the time they're little. They're little, girls. right, right, right. And we do it because we want them happy. Yeah, And they course. have to leave happy. Yeah. That's all that matters. Yeah. So, we have a candidate for you guys to work with today. <laughs> Melanie is her name. Come on up, Melanie. Come on, Melanie. Melanie. What's the problem? I am extremely indecisive. Just in life in general. Right, okay. What's so, a woman's but problem? But you decided on life. the man. <laughs> I have decided on the man. Okay, um, and you've tried on what? Like over two dozen dresses, I heard? At yes, least. Easily two but, dozen. Rach, I have to tell you guys, yeah. Kat, she sent us a PowerPoint. <laughs> no way. Okay? That's this is a PowerPoint, PowerPoint to show yeah. us how difficult it was for her. All the dresses she tried on right. in her first go around. And yeah. she's really stuck. Do you find I, it, is it just overwhelming for you? Because I think when you see this many dresses, it kind of blows your mind a bit. It is. And then when you're already indecisive to begin with, even on like simple little things like eating dinner, my fiance will say, you want to go here, here, here. And then I'll be like, well, what about this one? Like something completely out of I just need him to go through a few. Yeah. But then I can kind of make up my mind. Yeah. So I think it's just the indecisiveness. And then it's a big decision for any bride. Yeah, Even huge. someone who knows what they want just day to day. It's your wedding dress. Yeah. And you plan on doing it one time. And yeah. you want to make sure that that's I a good dress. I am so born without this jean. My husband. <laughs> I was, my husband. 
birthday and my mother planned the entire wedding. Yeah. I mean, honestly. Well, I, 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 I wore a dress that I'd already got in my, in my closet, too. Yeah. I just never had that bright I eye. Never, I know, ever. but we oh, want to help her. I do. Yeah. I do. Yeah. I think you have I do. All right. Yeah. So, okay. Mm -hmm. Bridal reflections have sent over all of these stunning gowns. Yeah, They're really yeah. elaborate in some cases. Really, really. And you guys have gone through this and made some decisions. Hopefully, you can choose from either Greta's or Robert's mm -hmm. expert opinion. Oh, a competition. Made the best yes. <laughs> win. All right, G, ladies first. Okay. Why, don't you, why don't you show yeah. us your tips? All right. So, first of all, do you want a hand? First tip is shop your shape. So, Taking a look at Melanie, she's got an adorable shape, but every woman, we find the right guy, but what we need to know when we step into a store is not every dress is perfect. And so for Melanie, she's petite through the shoulders, mm -hmm. and she's got curvy, great hips, oh right? Great, great shape. Yeah. But what we want to do is find a dress that's going to balance off her figure. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do mm -hmm. is actually get rid of dresses that have a drop waist and a lot of volume along the hip line or lower, okay. because A, it's going to make her look shorter oh, and it's really? going to make her look wider, <laughs> right? So these, these babies are going. Okay, those are okay. no's, okay? okay? The next thing is, with a petite shoulder line, she's narrow through here, I'm going to get rid of any dress that has a straight up and down strap because this way I would really actually be showing how petite she is. Instead, I want to keep dresses that are going to go off the shoulder or even have a little bit of a cap sleeve. Right. So this is going to go. go. Okay. Shop your shape for whatever dress, no matter what you're buying, that will work for her as a formula. Does that instantly make it feel a little bit easier for you? Like when somebody's practically going, okay, this is your shape, let's yeah. get rid of these and let's check out these ones. Yeah. Okay, good. All right, your turn. My turn. Yes. All right. So one of the things that I noticed in your PowerPoint presentation <laughs> is that... With oh, the color yeah. scheme of my wedding. Yeah, um. with the color scheme of your wedding. But what's interesting about your look is you don't like girly, girly clothes. Mm -hmm. And so when you are trying to tap into your personal look your style what's the word you always use Greta you have style personality your style personality, style personality. <laughs> when you're trying to tap into your style personality what you really have to do is take your day-to-day -day look and mm -hmm. translate it into your wedding day look mm -hmm. and this is true for any red carpet moment that you're gonna experience you really want to actually take something that's core in your style identity and bring it to life for that day <laughs> so because you're not the kind of girl who loves girly girly, I'm taking away everything that's princessy. So I'm not going to put you in anything that has this princess shape. Okay. Are you happy about that? Yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Me too. It's a I would wear a flannel wedding dress if I had to do it all over. Cool. One of the other things you said is that you're scared to wear a strapless dress because you think you're going to be hoisting it up all day. And right. even though with a strapless dress, they're constructed to really stay in your body and not slip down past your hip mm -hmm. by virtue of the fact that they're going to be all corseted. So it's never going to slide. Women still get really nervous, and you are very conscious about the fact that you know you're going to be pulling on it all night. So I'm going to actually eliminate everything strapless. Ooh. Well, plus, all your really That's... tall guests can see all your junk. Or the priest. Or the priest. Oh, that's not good. Or the priest, exactly. That's, 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 that's true. Uh, I didn't think about that. Uh, you yeah. know, you think you got great tips, but I have another one. Go ahead. Okay. All right, so watch out. Mm -hmm. Which white is right? Now, everyone knows here when you go wedding dress shopping, what do you, suddenly you're in a sea of white. Yeah. I don't know about you, but I don't wear a lot of white during the year, so sometimes that can stump a girl. So what you need to do is mm -hmm. actually have the consultant bring you two very different whites. Usually one is warmer or has a yellow undertone, or one has a blush or a cooler undertone. Right. So come over here, Melanie. You want to okay. show you that? Okay. So this is a yellow, mm -hmm. okay? And when she puts an antique or any sort of white <laughs> up against her skin, what she's looking for is the whites of her eyes to look very bright and her skin to look very, very clear. Right. Now, come over here. Okay. This is a blush undertone, which clearly makes her sparkle. She looks brighter. It looks healthier on her. And this it's is what true. we go through with white. It's true. And it can be really a big stump for girls. So I say have them bring you in too. Because it any more than that, you get So she yeah. should have the cooler white. She should have the cooler white. It just gives her a little more sparkle. Yeah. She's got a little bit of red going on under, under there. And when you pick something that really either makes you drab or makes imperfections It'll show wash up, her out. you the don't other feel like you have out. that bright right, so you are making this scientific. It's so cool. Take that. Okay. Take it back. Take it back.
you know, you have to also dress for where you're going to be getting married. So where are you wearing this? So if you're going to be married at a polo club, if you're going to get married on, you know, if you're going to have a picnic wedding, if you're going to have a poolside wedding, you want to dress appropriately for the venue. Mm -hmm. You are having a church wedding. Yes. Yeah. And I know that for you, based on your PowerPoint, <laughs> that you want to be conservative. So we're left with these two gowns to select from. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. What about you, G? Well, I'm getting rid of all of these. Yeah. Because okay. the yellow's going in the wrong color, and I am left with these two. Ooh. And my final selection is here. Uh -oh. That's very pretty. Oh, oh, you have a final? Yes, my final selection. <laughs> this 25 times <laughs> we need a resolution by the end of this hour do you think that at least one go. of these has in a an, shot for you in an hour yes i, I can try them both on though right yeah, yeah of course we're gonna let you try them on <laughs> I just want to know, do you like both of these designs before you go and try yes. them? Yes. You're, you're really into them. You like the neckline yeah. on that one, right? The neckline on this one is very pretty. And then what about this one? Very sexy. I very. Like it is. I mean, it's well, elegant and appropriate. Yeah. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. Yeah. Robert, I think they're both beautiful. I'm giving you the yeah. Maloik. <laughs> Maloik, <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah. Okay, so Greta and Robert have each made their picks. Which stylist is going to win the battle of the bridal gown? We'll find out at the end of the hour once Melanie has tried them on. Hopefully. She'll walk down the aisle for us at the end of the show. <laughs> Go get ready. Super stylist Greta Monahan, Robert Verde, they went head to head to try and help one of our viewers who's totally indecisive. Melanie is her name. She's tried on more than two dozen dresses. She has no clue what to do. Um, so these guys tried to hook her up with a dream dress. Mom, Alicia, is sitting in the front row. She's already crying. Already. Not even <laughs> but mom, uh, mom said they're happy tears. They are happy tears. tears. She's going to get us all going now. I know. Right? Yeah. All right, so let's see which dress um, our bride to be chose. Come on out, Melanie. She Stop. chose, this was Greta's gown, right, oh, guys? Yes. 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 The fix may have been in there. She does practically live at our show. <laughs> um, so why did we pick this, this, this gown? Mel? I picked this dress because it actually surprised me once I had it on. I didn't think I wanted this much embellishment. Right. But because it starts more dense and then towards the bottom there is still some plain and I saw myself in the mirror, and it just and like you thought you look good. I look really good. <laughs> the thing, the thing you love, yeah. and then she said to me, she said, I just wanted her to really know it was the one when she put it on. That's what exactly. you told me. Is that is that how you felt? Yes. That was it. Finally. <laughs> Mom, you got to make sure that the groom doesn't see this episode of television. We know right? that. Yeah. Very well, bad we luck. Told him. Yeah. But I got to tell you guys, when she first walked back, she lo took one look at my dress choice and she was like, <gasps> and I was like, oh my God. <laughs> so it wasn't until it went on, which can happen a yeah. lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So for you, it didn't have hanger appeal. It had appeal once you got it on your box. Exactly. It's got all the elements that she wanted. It's got the tank silhouette, which is one that's kind of derivative of sportswear. She wanted some exposure but she didn't want to be vulgar on her wedding right, day. Right, because she's in a church. Right. She's in a church. Yeah. Pointing out, Robert. She loved the trumpet silhouette more than what they call a fit and flare because she wanted to be able to dance and move. She's yeah. wearing this for 12 hours, so it has everything she desired. So I get why she picked. No yeah. big dealie. No, no, no big dealie. Big dealie. No, no big dealie. dealie. Get it? Uh, <laughs> but if you wanted to, could you kick your shoes off and dance on the tables in that dress? I, why not? Why not? Oh. She looks great. It's a thumbs up. It's beautiful. Well, we wanted to thank again Bridal Reflections for yes. Melanie's beautiful dress. You really do look stunning. Their show, Brides Gone Style, there's on TLC. And we wanted to give you a little something, a little pre-wedding gift. So this is the iHomes Completely Waterproof Bluetooth Stereo Speaker. This thing is so cool. 
Yeah, I love this, especially for the summer because cool. it's waterproof. It has yeah. a 14-hour mega battery. It'll even charge your phone. Since we're feeling festive and we're all here together, we're giving one to everybody in the